welcome. In today's video, we're diving into a revealing comparison between three leading chat AIs, ChatGPT4, Claude2, and Bard. Our focus? A simple yet revealing task to list the chapter numbers and names from the table of contents of my book, Spooky Action, as provided in PDF format. But the results were the same using TXT, DOCX, or copying and pasting the book in line using the chat message box. Why these three AIs? Well, they're popular currently. Also, each represents a unique approach to conversational AI, and comparing them on the same task will offer insights into their current state as of December 2023. So what's the task? We'll evaluate each AI's ability to extract and list the chapter numbers and names from the spooky action document. It's a straightforward verbatim task, but it will tell us a lot about each AI's handling of real-world data. Here's what I did. I uploaded, note, ChatGPT4 and Claude2 only, the PDF of my book, Spooky Action, and posed the same query to each AI. For ChatGPT4, list the chapter numbers and names. For Claude2, list the chapter numbers and names. For Bard, on my drive, there's a PDF file named SpookyAction.pdf. List the chapter numbers and names. A quick note. Getting Bard to locate the file was a bit tricky. I had to place it at the top of my drive so it could find the file. Weird as folders have been around for ages. Now, the results are quite telling. Both ChatGPT4 and Claude2 accurately listed the chapters with their numbers and names. Bard, on the other hand, had a tough time with this task, revealing a significant limitation. And it also lacks the ability to reference uploaded files, which is crucial for document comprehension. On a side note, I can't help but wonder what it would be like if Google with its extensive search data, acquired a tool like ChatGPT or Claude to use with Gmail, Docs, and to have much better searches. After all, Bard and Gemini has a long ways to catch up. Just imagine the possibilities. Keep in mind, of course, this isn't the most exhaustive test of these AIs, but it does raise an important question. If an AI struggles with a basic task like quoting the text from the table of contents in a book, how reliable would it be for more complex assignments? What data were these AIs trained on if they struggle to understand the concept of chapters in a book, and given that books have been around since 800 CE or earlier? In fairness, I do use them for research, far better than a Bing Google search with all of those annoying ads, and for grammar checks, and to catch other writing mistakes, you know, the ones we all miss without a good editor. And yes, I do pay my $20 per month to behold the awesomeness that is AI. What do you think? Have you had similar experiences with these AIs or perhaps different ones? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm curious to hear them. And that's a wrap for today's AI state of the art, so to speak. If you found this comparison helpful, 
or if you have suggestions for future content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, as the AI reminded me to say. Until next time, peace.